we have Denis Zuyev from uh, Fusemark uh, that has the song Reign of Revolution. Can you please tell us about the way to Eurovision? Can you tell us about the national finals? It was a long way. We had uh, five. Uh, we have to, to, to do it five times in our national. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were um, we were making uh, a lot of changes uh, every time. Uh, we've been tight, you know. <laughs> but uh, the first impulse uh, was so strong that uh, when we decided to to do the song for the Eurovision because uh, in fact we are uh, an alternative band, we are making music uh, a little bit more strange music, we are making music for the contemporary dance, for the theatre, it's more uh, like a trippy, dark thing, yeah, we are an electronic band as well, but we also play acoustic instruments mm, and uh, as, I, as I said, uh, this song found us. We didn't do anything to create something especially for Eurovision. It's you know, it's like some kind of insight when you understand that okay, uh, uh, this time you must do something more um, to reach a wider audience, you know? to tell something a little bit more straight from your soul, not from your intellect. Okay. Wow. And you're finally at Eurovision Song yes. Contest. How does it feel to finally be here and finally perform on stage? Uh, it's amazing, it's inspiring, it's one of the best experiences that we have uh, in our long career, musical career. We have been playing for 12 years wow. as a band. Yeah. Uh, we've been playing in different multimedia festivals and around Europe. We visited almost all the Europe countries. Yeah. And uh, in Ukraine we were for the first time. So now you have to come back to Ukraine again to perform yes, here. Yes. In fact, we are very happy that our Eurovision experience started here in Kiev. Somehow we feel very proud. I don't know why. Maybe my Ukrainian roots. Tell oh, me you have Ukrainian roots. I have the Ukrainian roots. My grandfather was from Ukraine. Wow, yes. so you're kind of on the land of your ancestors, you could say. Yes, yes, I feel okay. something about it. So, and uh, how long have you been here in Kiev already for? Uh, ten days. Ten days. Yes. Have you gotten a chance to see anything? Yes, we've been uh, to different places. The most, uh, the most powerful place is uh, Pichorska. Pichorska uh -huh, Lavra. Lavra. It's an amazing place. Did you go underground? Yes. Oh, we feel the spirit of this place. We've been. It's accumulating. It's like the catacombs in Paris, isn't it? Yes. Truly an amazing place. And today is the day of semi final two. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous before it? Mm. I'm trying to identify this feeling. I'm not nervous, but it's. Uh, it's a word emotion. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of inspiration. Every time you go on stage, you know this feeling. I can I could hardly name it. It's a nervous. Uh, it's a nerve. I don't know. It's inspiration more. Yeah. When you know what you what you should do, what you should uh, mm, what you should tell people, but, uh, and the. Uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds great. And also, what message would you like to send to your fans around the world? Mm, Maybe a motivational message? Motivational message is... Uh, it's in our song. Our song is a message because uh, the main idea is to stay true to yourself. Yeah, to, as we call it, dance to the rhythm of your soul. It's main idea. Uh, no matter what happens, stay true to yourself, listen to yourself, and do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So the main message of this interview is stay to stay stay true to yourself, 
and listen to your heart today during the semi-finals and hopefully we'll see Lithuania in the finals. Thank you.